Bible study time again with me. I'm Megan. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. I've been trying to share my Bible study breakdowns with you here. Um, I have some other books of the Bible. I've been working through the minor prophets. We started with Habakkuk, and now we're at Zechariah. Zechariah, Old Testament ah. book. So I like to start ah. with doing some context, like some background history of this book of the Bible to really like get my mind into the time period and what's going on, what is this all about? So that's what we're gonna do today. This is the first step in really trying to really get a grasp on your Bible study time, okay? So the Old Testament's got a lot, a lot of good juicy stuff in it, okay? And like I said, this is a minor prophet. Zechariah is the author of this book, obviously, okay? And this was actually written like the same time as the book of Haggai, which we just got through with that study. So I found that to be very interesting. This is around the same time period, 520 BC, okay? This is when it was written. This is one of his earlier prophecies. Um, and I think later on, he prophesies about the coming of Christ and then the second coming of Christ, okay? So like I said, this is the time period covered 520 BC into the future. And this book has the most references to the coming Messiah than any of the other minor prophets. That's, that's big, that's, that's pretty cool. He has many prophecies about Jesus in this book. So Zechariah, he prophesies at the same time as Haggai, like I said, so it's the same, same time period. And so this book of the Bible can be kind of broken down in two sections. You start with the first eight chapters, and they're going to be talking about the builders of the second temple, which was mainly what Haggai was about. He called them to rebuild the temple, okay? So he's talking basically to the same group of people. This is so cool. All right, this is the people that returned from the Babylonian exile, okay? And then chapters 9 through 14 are thought to be written like later on in his life and are going to refer mostly to the coming of the Messiah. His life, his death, and his return. Woo, this is going to be good. Going to be good. So, Zechariah, it goes like in the first beginning scriptures, it tells who Zechariah is. He's the son of Berechiah, Berechiah, and then the grandson of Ido. I don't really know how to pronounce those names, but there you go. So he was a priest and he's a prophet. So we're gonna start breaking this down little by little. This is gonna take a while. I'm gonna try to do my best. I said, I am just a stay-at-home mama who absolutely loves Jesus and loves studying my Bible, and I love putting things into context, <clears throat> defining things, trying to look at, like, the bigger picture to help my brain understand it more and just see what God is going to teach me in these Old Testament scriptures because there's a lot to be learned, and there's a lot that can apply to us today. So I'd appreciate it if you subscribe like comment um and come back for for more you need to open up that bible and start reading just the first chapter sit in the first chapter of this book <clears throat> for a while do your own research and let's study this together 